Hi, my name is Ryan O'Connell. Welcome to this training video, Azure Storage Explorer. We're going to discuss what is Azure Storage Explorer, what is Azure Storage on a whole. We'll install and configure Azure Ex uh, Storage Explorer on your local PC and using Azure Storage Explorer, both locally and in the portal. Azure Storage Explorer. Azure Storage Explorer is an application which helps you to easily access the Azure Storage accounts through any device on any platform, whether it be Mac OS, Windows, or Linux. You can easily connect to your subscription and manipulate your tables, blobs, queues, and files. Azure Storage Explorer is a free tool from Microsoft that is available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And as the name suggests, it provides a graphical in in, uh, environment to browse and perform actions against Azure Storage accounts. So Azure Storage Explorer, we can manipulate blobs, queues, tables, disks, and files. Well, not so much disks, more blob, queues, tables, and files. The prerequisites for uh, installing Azure Storage Explorer, the following versions of Windows support Storage Explorer, Windows 10, highly recommended, Windows 8, Windows 7, if you're still running Windows 7, I recommend that you upgrade to Windows 10 as Windows 7 is no longer supported by Microsoft. Azure subscription is highly recommended as well because in order to access all of your blobs and files and storage and containers, you need to have an Azure subscription. Another cool thing is Azure Storage Explorer is now integrated directly into the portal so you can manage all of your data through Azure Storage Explorer and we will explore that option a little bit later on as we move through our training. For all versions of Windows, Storage Explorer requires .NET Framework 4.7.2 at, at a minimum if you are installing on your local PC. Storage Explorer is available in the Azure portal and I highly recommend that you use this also. A quick overview, storage accounts. A storage account contains all of your Azure storage data, objects, blobs, file shares, queues, tables, and disk. The storage account provides a unique namespace for your Azure storage data that is accessible from anywhere in the world over HTTP or HTTPS. A storage account is an Azure Resource Manager resource. The Resource Manager is deployed and the management for Azure services. Blob containers. Blob storage is Microsoft's uh, based uh, object storage solution. It's optimized for storing massive amounts of unstructured data such as photos, MP3s, movies, PDFs, docs, texts, or binary data. It's great for log files. You would generally choose blob storage in cases where you need to serve up images or documents directly to a web browser or where you want to store files for distributed access. Azure queues. An overview, the Azure Queue service is used to store and retrieve messages. Queues messages can be up to 64 kilobytes in size and the queue can contain millions of messages. Queues are normally used uh, to store lists of messages that uh, need to be processed asynchronously. The Azure Table service. The Azure Table Storage is a NoSQL data store designed to store large amounts of unstructured data. It accepts authenticated calls from both inside and outside the Azure Cloud. Organizations often use table storage when they need to store terabytes of structured uh, uh, data sets that don't require complex joins such as foreign keys or stored procedures that can be denormalized for fast access. Azure Files. Azure Files allows organizations to set up highly available network file shares that are accessible via the standard SMB protocol. This allows multiple virtual machines that can share the same files with that both read and write access just as they would on a typical on-prem file share. Data uh, stored in Azure Files shares can be accessed uh, using the REST interface or the storage client libraries. Think of your Azure storage files. If you're accessing them on your local PC, it would be like accessing a mapped drive. And this is uh, great because you no longer need map drives. You can just do it straight from within your Azure file share. And a quick one, Azure Disks. Uh, disk storage provides disks that VMs, applications, and other servers can access and use as needed, much in the same way they would in a typical on-prem scenario. 
Discs come in two flavors, managed and unmanaged. Managed discs are managed by Azure and unmanaged discs are managed by the user or customer. In other words, you. Of course, I encourage you to go to this Microsoft uh, link and learn more about uh, Azure Storage Explorer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pop over into a live environment and we're going to go ahead and set up uh, Azure Storage Explorer and just work through some of the basic fundamentals so that you can get to grips using Azure Storage Explorer. Hi, as you can see, I've logged into the portal and I've navigated to resource groups. If you don't see resource groups, just go to the top here and type in RES and select resource groups from there. I'm going to go ahead and create a new resource group. And you're probably saying to yourself, well, why do we need a resource group? Well, we need a resource group in order to put our storage account in there. And then we need to create a storage account because without a storage account, we can't use Azure Storage Explorer. So let's go ahead and create that new resource group quickly. I'm going, to, I'm going to go ahead and paste the name in. I already have Azure Storage Resource Group. And I'm going to go next. I'm not worried about tagging. And I'm going to click Review and Create. This is going to go away and do a validation for us. And click the Create button. And this is going to go ahead and uh, create that resource uh, group uh, for us. So we'll just give it a second. As you can see, that resource group has successfully created. And we can see from the bell icon here, we can dismiss that notification. And of course, we can scroll down now to storage accounts. If you don't see storage accounts, again, to the top, just type in STOR and select storage accounts from there. And we'll go ahead and create a storage account from here. And let's, um, and I've got a storage account, so a name that I have already. So I'm just going to copy this from Notepad. And make sure you select the right resource group. There's our resource group that we created. So I'm going to go ahead and give my storage account name called Storage Explorer Demo 1. I'm going to leave it in the East US. And for the storage, I'm going to scroll down and select Local Redundant Storage because it's cheaper. Obviously, um, you would need to decide what storage you want to use. But because this is a lab, I'm not too stressed. Click the Next button. We want to accept the defaults. I just want to mention under the minimum TLS version, we have version 1.2. And if you notice, we've got version 1 and version 1.1. I think these are for backwards compatibilities. I would not use that. Always try to use the latest version. And obviously, we want to use a hot tier for our storage. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. As you can see, we can enable large uh, file shares. We can um, enable uh, queues. So I'm not too stressed about that at the moment. We just want to learn how to install and set up Storage Explorer and do maybe upload a, a JPEG and just see how it works. I'll go ahead and go uh, networking. I will accept the default for networking, uh, for Microsoft routing, for all the public endpoints. Now under data protection, in a real world environment, you would want to have soft deletes enabled. What soft deletes do is they protect your data. If somebody accidentally deletes your data, you can recover it. But, on, but not only that, soft delete will also help prevent deletion of your storage account. So if you've got a storage account that you're no longer using and you're trying to delete it, make sure soft deletes is disabled. Then you'll be able to delete your account. If you don't, trust me, you're going to get errors and you'll be sitting there pulling your hair out. So. For this lab, I'm going to turn this off because you obviously want to delete the storage account at the end of the day. We're not worried about version, versioning or tracking. So I'm going to go next. I'm going to go next and I'm going to uh, wait for this validation to complete. And then I'm going to click create. And this is going to go away and create that storage account for us. So while that storage account is being created, I just want to show you here. The next thing we want to do is you want to actually move over to the Microsoft website. Do a Google search for Storage Explorer. And we want to go ahead and download Storage Explorer because you want to install Storage Explorer on our local desktop. And we want to use that tool to connect to our Azure portal and use Storage Explorer that way. If you're using Windows, you can just download it now. But if you're using Mac OS or Linux, you can select which uh, uh, operating system you want. In my case, it's Windows, and you would click download, 
and this would go ahead and download uh, Storage Explorer, a little exe file, and I've saved mine to the desktop. So I'll just uh, uh, let that download, and we can go ahead and connect. So once uh, Storage Explorer has connected, you will see over here that you get a notification that everything's all perfect, you've got no problems. So we want to go to our storage account and we want to um, click on our storage account and then we want to go to uh, access keys and we actually want to see what our access keys and by default <coughs> our access keys are hidden so we want to say show access keys and this is the key that we want because we want to connect using a connection string so I'm going to go ahead and copy this and I'm just going to pop that into a notepad because we'll need that shortly so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just close this down and I'm just going to fire up Storage Explorer on my machine that's opened up on a second console. I'm going to go and click Run. Uh, it's and click Install for Everyone. And as you can see, there's the basic install. I'm going to accept the agreement. Obviously, we don't read the license terms because most of us don't. So I'm going to go ahead and click Install and go Next, Next. And this is going to go away and install Storage Explorer on our physical Windows 10 PC. That's got nothing to do with the, uh, the Azure portal. It's not a virtual machine. This is my actual machine at home. So we'll just wait for a, a minute or two while this installs. It won't take long. It's very, very quick to install. And as you can see, it didn't take long. Storage Explorer has completed its installation. I'm going to click Finish. And this is going to fire up Storage Explorer. And we're going to actually now go through and use Storage Explorer. So I'm going to go ahead and say Connect. And I'm going to connect to that storage account itself. So I'm going to go ahead and click Connect. I'm going to use a connection string. Remember, we copied that connection string. And this is why we will need it. So I'm going to go Next. I'm going to call this one um, AZ uh, Storage. Uh, I'll just call it uh, Storage Explorer Demo. And of course, I'm going to paste that uh, connection string in there by doing a Control V and clicking Next and clicking Connect. Now this is going to go away and it's going to connect to my Azure uh, subscription, my Azure uh, storage account. And as you can see, the connection was added successfully. You can see that here. And if I scroll down here to my storage account, let's just uh, delete this one because detach that one so we don't get confused. You can see here, here's my uh, storage account and we can go in here and We've got our blob containers and we've got file shares. See, uh, we can put our logs in here. It's great for, for putting logs. We've got tables and queues. So I'm going to go to blob containers. I'm going to create a new container and I'll just call this one um, photos. It needs to be lowercase, not uppercase. If it's uppercase, you'll get an error and press enter. And there it's telling me photos has been created. Now I'm going to go ahead and upload a JPEG. I'm going to say upload a file. Obviously, we're not going to upload a folder. So I'm going to go ahead and browse. And I'm going to browse to my C drive. And I've got a demo picture here. And I'm going to click Upload. And this is going to go ahead and upload that file to my storage account. And pay attention at the bottom here. You can see here that everything was successful. And of course, again, you could download that. I mean, you could go ahead and open that selected item if, if you wanted to. And as you can see, it's, it's opening up and there it is. It's that JPEG file that we created. So it's pretty cool. We can actually see what it is before we even download it. So that's great. So that's how, how we would do that. Again, if we wanted to create a, uh, our queues, we could go ahead and um, select queues and We'll go and say, let's create a new queue, and let's just call this uh, demo uh, demo one, and press enter. And of course, we've got our queue there. We could go ahead and add a message. We could say a uh, test message, and of course, I could go ahead and say, how long do I want to keep 
that message to expire it expire in one day and I could click OK and this would go ahead and create <coughs> that uh, message for us and we could move that message we could clear that message or we could even click on it and view that message and there is that message for us and the same thing with tables you could go ahead and create a, a table as well so this is how you work with Azure Storage Explorer from your local machine so again if you wanting to uh, connect if I come back over here you can see we can connect using a subscription blob container so there's many ways to connect and authenticate with Storage Explorer I do encourage you to download Storage Explorer and just play a little bit with it it's a really awesome tool but I want to show you something that's even more awesome so let's close this down here I can come down to file and I can close I can quit Storage Explorer now if I come into my Storage Explorer demo here and I move over to Storage Explorer if you notice it's in preview mode here and if I click that I'm well within my portal so I'm going to scroll over and I'm going to come down here and you'll see there's my photos and there's uh, the photo that we created so this is so awesome we can actually do stuff from within our Storage Explorer over here I mean I can go ahead and download uh, another photo or overwrite that photo so to give you an example I could go ahead and say upload I could select a file and let's say we wanted to use that file again I would click OK and we could go ahead and say overwrite that file and that would go ahead and overwrite that file as you notice I got a warning there because that warning said to me that file already exists so we've overwritten that file so that's great and it's it's there of course um, we could then download this to our uh, our desktop and have a look at it and the same with file shares we could go ahead and, and create file shares we go ahead and look at our queues as well there's our demo queue and of course we could go ahead and add another message here and I call this a uh, test one two three four and I can say let's go ahead and close that down obviously you can see there it's encoding it into uh, base 64 and I could click OK and it's added that message there so this is just like I say a high level overview of working with Storage Explorer I mean we can go in into such depth on actually using this tool to its full functionality but as new users uh, it's great that you have an understanding on how to install Storage Explorer on your local PC and browse to your Azure uh, Storage Explorer uh, your Azure uh, Storage account sorry within Azure as well as using Azure Storage Explorer within the Azure portal itself so I hope you guys have had fun uh, watching this video I hope you've learned something new I know a lot of you may know how to do this already so I thank you for your patience and your time while uh, you went through this video again it's just a broad overview of how to use Azure Storage Explorer I want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart for subscribing to my YouTube channel I want to thank everyone for taking the time just to watch the video you Azure gurus are awesome and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.